Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In the precious name of Jesus, I greet and every one of you. I welcome all of you from different parts of the world to be the part of this Eucharistic adoration. All of you may sit down. Let us lift up our hands. In the name of Jesus, I pray over all Logosians. The Lord may give answer of your prayers that you offer now. Those who are online, Lord, send your power upon them and receive the Holy Spirit right now. Those who are present here, let your intentions be fulfilled. He may sprinkle his precious blood upon you. Let the Lord give you the answer of your prayers. Those who have sent their intentions through email, SMS, chat box, all these intentions be fulfilled. Let the Lord give you His healing touch in the area of your sickness. Where you experience blocks and bondages in your career or marriage or family or education, the Lord may set you free. The Lord Almighty may give you wonderful blessing right now. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. For the fulfillment of all our intentions, and the promised word that we are going to listen now, we pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Today's promised word. Genesis chapter 1, verse 2. The world was shapeless. It was covered with the darkness. It was empty. The earth was formless, void, and darkness covered the face of the deep. While a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Many of you are like this. Formless. You have no idea what to do next. There is no shape. When you look to your future, it is shapeless. And when you look to your life, it is something like empty, null and void. No achievements. Thirdly, everywhere you have seen darkness. You are in a bad shape. Second one, you are totally empty. There is no fullness. Thirdly, everywhere you have seen darkness around you. There is no hope. That is hopeless situation. This is a condition of some of the people. There God sent the Holy Spirit, the Ruwa, the wind was moving from God, the Holy Spirit. In this situation, now the wind is moving over you. Lift up your hands. The wind is moving over you. Genesis 2.8 Out of this shapelessness, empty, darkness covered all over the world. Now it is a paradise. God planted a garden in Eden and in the east. There he put the man whom he had formed. So this world turned into paradise. The same way those who are during this adoration present, those who are now looking to Jesus, you are going to get a good shape. God shaped you. God shaped Adam. God sent a breath all over the world and God breathed upon Adam. Genesis 2, 7. God breathed upon, a wind sent upon Adam. Then placed him in the garden of Eden, paradise. So all of you have this transition today. Lift up your hands from the shapelessness to a wonderful form. From shapelessness to a wonderful form. And from null and void, you are going to become full, content, joyful. And from the darkness covered around you and there is no hope, now there is full of hope in paradise. You are in paradise. 
in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.